Hey guys, this is Quick Tip of the Week, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the smudge tool. Let's begin. Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the smudge tool. The smudge tool can be located on the left toolbar very easily. Um, it is usually um, selected with the blur tool. Um, but you just have to left click and hold and go down to the smudge tool and it's very simple now There's uh, many different uh, options that you can choose from such as the size and the different type of uh, pattern You want to use and just different type of brushes that you have and then you can go over here Just to, depending on what kind of mode that you want and then the strength which is how uh, much you want it to smudge and then uh, basically we want to keep that very low just to quickly say and then this is to sample all layers so basically if you have more than one layer this will affect all of those layers um, but now we only have one layer so it'll only affect that one layer uh, so we don't need to worry about that all right so we're gonna go just into a very simple brush make sure the hardness is very low and make sure it's to your liking the size so this is just um, this is just a very odd picture that I'm using um, uh, you don't. You, I wouldn't usually use this much tool in this picture, but it is a very good example. Um, so let's say in situations like this where you want the uh, grass to maybe be a little bit blurred or anything like that, and you want the tiger to be blended in a tiny bit more, um, it's actually a very good technique to use in most cases. Um, this isn't the best case, but it is a decent uh, example of what you can use. And it's also very good to start... Um, adjusting many other things inside a picture and also to blur it if you don't want to take the extra time to blur everything else real um that takes a little bit more time um but so if you don't want to do that then you can just go to the smudge tool and you can actually blur it real quickly and you're done basically so guys i hope you enjoyed this quick tip of the week um it's very quick this one uh so guys if you enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe if you want to learn more about photoshop um, adobe illustrator cinema 4d and adobe after effects then please do subscribe guys thanks and i'll see you later